Here's another question that's a little different, I think, although I'm not familiar enough with it to know if it's very different. What is your position on the Bohannon project? And Ray, you get to start. That's great. Um, and to clarify my last answer, what I said, what I meant, to, what I don't think we should be raising taxes before we've done everything we, we can to raise revenue by becoming more business friendly and streamlining here in Menlo Park. Um, with respect to the Bohannon project, you know, I. I think we need, I, I personally want us to see us start to break ground. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. Um, there are, there, number one, it's gonna, I think it's going to spur our economy. And number two, it's on the books. And, as, and it's on the books as a development that's going to happen. And it's going to provide jobs to the people who live near it. But secondarily, it's on the books. And if it's on the books, the best thing that can happen is for it to start sooner than later so we know what its true impacts are as we make other decisions in the city with respect to land use. And that's something that I can't tell you enough when we're in the Transportation Commission meetings and we're talking about what's coming up next and we're trying to figure out percentages and there's so many projects sitting on the books and we're thinking, well, what's the true impact of that going to be? What would be great is if we could go ahead and get that started. And, you know, people talk about, well, we, we need to wait for that hotel to come in first. And I want that to hotel to come in first, but, I, I, you know, I'm a little concerned about chicken and egg there. So, go ahead. Okay, Dave? Thank you. Uh, my answer is really simple to this one, and it was addressed in one of the earlier questions. Um, we get our revenue to our city when we have property tax, sales tax, and so on. The sooner we can get this business up and running, exactly like Ray said, it is approved, it's on the books, it's gone through the planning, it's time to break ground and get the, get the business rolling. Okay. Kelly, what do you think about the Bohannon project? So um, I voted for the Bohannon project. Um, I was on the negotiating team. Um, you know, there there are impacts, um, but we really pushed for innovative uh, transportation demand management um, measures, um, strict so that um, they will stay within the parameters uh, that were um, um, part of the planning process. So um, I think it will be an overall benefit to the city. Um, it's a great project, um, and I, the ball is in Mr. Bohannon's court. There are financial incentives. Um, for him to move forward, and um, we're looking forward to it. Catherine. I think we're all in agreement. Um, I would love to see them break ground. It's going to provide revenues for the city. It could provide jobs. It could also uh, bring in new businesses that themselves will find success in Menlo Park and grow and expand and maybe even create more revenues. And uh, I eagerly am awaiting to hear that he has the funding and uh, we'll be able to start on his hotel. And again, it's a, a chicken and egg thing I'm not sure about, but uh, I hope he moves forward soon. I wish him the best of luck. Okay, Carolyn. I am ready to see the Bohannon Project come to life. Um, it will bring economic vitality, provide jobs and revenue for the city, as well as abundance for the east side. With Facebook and, and the Bohannon Project together, we'll begin to create the needed abundance on the east side. Our residents lobbied for Measure T, and I believe it's time for them to see some action on the project and mm -hmm. to see it come alive. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks.